Good damn morning, Americans. Jericho Green here with you once again. And let's tune in for another episode of Fucking Idiots. In this episode, we're going to focus on the state of California. As you well know, they will not be out stupided. Now let's throw it to your host, Jericho Green. Man, let's talk about two California bitches. One of them's named Gavin, and the other one's named Kamala, the Ugandan nightmare. Or should she be called Kamala, America's fucking nightmare? So let's start with the latter, shall we? This fucking idiot was on uh, the Stephen Colbert show who hasn't been funny since he was on The Daily Show. And if you want to see something that is funny, go back and watch Stephen Colbert election night 2016. Shit was hilarious. So this dummy is being interviewed by the other dummy. And he asked her, which I was surprised by, even though it was still in a softball kind of (laughs) way. He said, during the debate, you didn't like Joe Biden. You called him a racist. And now you guys are buddies? So, of course, she starts with her uncomfortable laugh. (laughs) I'm sorry. Let me be more accurate. Guy, 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 guy. Remember that movie, Mars Attack? (laughs) Every time that rotten slut laughs, that's what I hear. Guy, 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 guy. (laughs) Man. So she does her uncomfortable fucking cackle. And then she says, and I quote, it was a debate. I mean, it was a debate. It was a debate. It was a debate. She just kept saying that shit over and over again. Yes, Kamala, we know it was a debate. But what he wants to know is why at one time you're calling this man an awful racist and a few months later you're up there locked arm in arm trying not to be sniffed by him. How the fuck did that happen? Oh, I know how. You're a liar. Kamala is a political puppet. Whoever jams their hand up her disgusting ass and manipulates her cocksucker is who she will work for. That's whose message she will push. Remember in her awkward, during her awkward ass presidential campaign? I used to smoke bud and listen to Tupac. Um, dumbass, that was in 1986. Tupac was like 12. He wasn't making too many hip-hop classics in 1986. But you put thousands of men, mostly black men, in prison for said weed that you were smoking. She is full of shit. And when she was sworn in um, as... uh, Was it when she was sworn? I think when she was sworn in as San Francisco D.A., One of the two, or one of them. When she was sworn in, she was sworn in as an Indian American with her Indian mom there wearing her Indian garb. She was, let me say that again. She was sworn in as an Indian American. So how in the fuck is she running now as a black woman? You fools are so desperate for any kind of support that you will take somebody who is lying, who is fronting, as they say. She's pulling a Rachel Dolezal, and everybody's like, yeah, she's a black woman. Just because you have color doesn't make you black. Her mom's an Indian, and her dad is a fucking Jamaican who wasn't even around. So we call him a (laughs) Jafakin. Man, you desperate motherfuckers, have some balls, have some confidence, and stop letting anybody who's darker than a sheet of copy paper be called black. She's not black. She's Indian. That's how she was sworn in. I'm just going by her paperwork. But it was a debate. You don't have to tell the truth during a debate. You're just up there talking shit, slinging a little mud. 
That woman is full of shit. She flip-flops too easy. And if you're over 60, you can get her in bed to do whatever you want her to do. It, it's a debate. You're supposed to be up there selling yourself to the American people via the truth. Not whatever it takes to get you votes, which didn't even work, you dumbass. You got like, what, 2% support? You were out of there before the paint dried on your shitty tour bus. But this is who they want to put in office with old, are we at the mall? Biden. Biden is pervertus. That's their A-team. That's who they're sending in to run this country. Someone who goes with the wind or somebody who doesn't know if that's win or if he broke win. These motherfuckers can't be serious. Speaking of people who can't be serious from California, the exalted ruler of California, Gavin Bang Your Wife Newsom. If you're new to the channel, why do I call him Bang Your Wife Newsom? Because he banged his best friend's wife. What a piece of shit. So this fool, either yesterday or the day before, decreed to the masses that there will be no more sales of new gas-powered vehicles in, I believe, 2035. I'll put a link in the description box to this moron. So to help climate change, because this is what's going to save the world. This is what's going to save the earth is California not producing or buying any gas powered cars after 20 fucking 35. So he says to make the air clean and to fight climate change. And so our children don't get asthma from the air, man, shut the fuck up. I can't stand Gavin Newsom. You're a misguided crooked piece of shit. Why are you worried about some fucking vehicles? Producing emissions when half the state is still on fire. When the state is still on lockdown, people losing their livelihoods and their sanity, our children getting a subpar education, even worse than the bullshit they were getting in the classroom because we are 49th in education in this country. All of this shit going on, unrest, unemployment, but you have the time to make an executive order that stops the sale of new cars in 15 years? Are you serious or are you retarded? I'll tell you what, I'm not leaning towards serious. This state is fucked all the way up and you're worried about some emissions. Now, let me ask you this. I know you're worried about the emissions from our cars, but what about the emissions from your fleet of cars, from your SUVs that take you around safely, from the flights you take to go spread your communist bullshit? Are those putting out emissions too? Aren't you contributing to this climate change horseshit scam? So what do you do with all the gas stations and the repair shops and the fleet of vehicles that already exist for ag. We'll just go with agriculture. The top income for California, agriculture. Maybe it's tech, maybe. But we'll just go with agriculture. They use more pickup trucks than Google. So these fleets of trucks, I live in the Salinas Valley. So what are these people supposed to pull trailers with and haul stuff and take parts from here to there? Are you going to buy these vehicles back? For how much? What are you going to give them in return? What are you going to do with the gas stations and the auto repair shops that will be no longer necessary, that will be obsolete because all the cars are going to run on gas and on run on electricity and happy thoughts? We're going to have all the cars around here sounding like the Jetsons. And just the fact that there are much bigger fish to fry. How many fires do we have going on? You talk about poor air quality. What about the smoke that I can see? 
and feel burning my throat and my vehicles covered in ash. I think that might be a little more pressing than 15 years, 15 years down the road dealing with cars and trucks. You fucking scumbag. He looks like the dude who played the devil in Constantine. Tell me I'm lying. You slick hair deviant motherfucker. You ever hear him talk? He has like a, a, a raspy voice. I think his voice is raspy like that because the air in hell is hot and it scorched his vocal cords. It singed his vocal cords. Make no mistake, his auntie is Nancy Pelosi and we all know that she is a liver spotted demon. If she's a demon, he's Satan himself. This state is fucked. And you're worried about some car emissions that don't mean shit. We are nothing. We are a flea on the balls of the world. If Earth decides to scratch, we are dead. Us and all of our, our wind-powered vehicles will sink in the fucking ocean and be no more if the Earth sees it necessary. We're not as big of a deal as we think we are. We ain't shit. Now, does that mean we should destroy the planet and fuck it up with no thought of the consequences? Of course not. Don't litter. Pick your trash up. Keep the world beautiful. Don't be an asshole. But does that mean you have to turn our economy on its head and fuck all our lives up so you feel better? No. Gas prices through the roof. Taxes. Home prices. Roads look like shit. Schools couldn't teach nobody. Ultra left-leaning liberal instructors, professors, teachers, poisoning our kids' minds. I got to give blood, a retinal scan, and a fucking rectal exam to get guns and ammunition, but you're outlawing gas-powered cars 15 years from now. Let that make sense. Let that shit sink in. All of you who don't live in California, you are lucky. He also, I don't know the official name for it, but there's some kind of wealth tax that if you leave California for the next 10 years, you still got to pay on, uh, on like, um, it was like a luxury tax. So if you're rich or you make above a certain amount of money and you leave California, you got to pay luxury tax for the next 10 years by California standards. What kind of gangster shit is that? These motherfuckers got their priorities all messed up. You're not focusing on us. You're not focusing on me. <clears throat> me, 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 me. It's about me, not you. It's about the people. And shit, it's just like these assholes who take a recess in Congress and the Senate. Who the fuck are you to take a recess? You better put in some overtime. We put in overtime all the time to pay these fucking taxes for you assholes. Property tax, gas tax, California surcharge. But you're worried about some fucking cars. Are you serious? You have districts where kids can't read or do math at grade level, but you're worried about some emissions. Okay. Let's say California, everything's running on fucking water and cotton candy. There's no emissions. All the cars are spitting out little bubbles that smell like strawberries. Okay, what about the rest of the country, you dumbass? Huh? You retard? What about the rest of the country? So all the emissions and pollution coming from the other 49 states. What, it just hits the California border and just goes up into the sky and dissipates because we've changed our ways? You stupid asshole. Man, California, if you vote this son of a bitch in again, then it's probably going to happen because it's the crazy fuckers in L.A. and San Francisco that dictate the rest of California. They decide what happens to the rest of us. So people like myself who aren't down for this bullshit, our votes just get washed up in this blue wave. 
Gavin Newsom is a piece of shit. No offense to any pieces of shit that might be watching, but that's what he is. Car emissions. I can't go out to eat unless I sit in a parking lot. I can't take my kids to the park. I can't send my kids to school. This beach is open. That beach isn't. Put on a mask. All this sweet and sour sniffle pandemic horse shit going on. Plus, you set half of the, the state on fire. Instead of worrying about what comes out of an exhaust pipe, why don't you go clear the underbrush in the fucking wilderness so we don't catch on fire again in six months? What do you think of that? Why don't you reverse that bullshit law that Clinton signed into effect to save the spotted owl? I'm not bullshitting. In 94, Clinton signed a bill that would stop the removal of underbrush, which is why we have all this kindling and dry shit waiting for a dickhead to flick a cigarette out his window and kill people and destroy towns. Clinton did that to save the spotted owl. Let me tell you something. I've been living in California since I was four months old. I've been in the wilderness I've been to the beaches, I've been to the mountains, I've been to the valleys. Let me tell you, I've never seen a spotted owl in my fucking life. I don't give a shit about a spotted owl. They can all die. Fuck a spotted owl. You're losing people's homes, livelihood, and lives because you won't clear that shit for an owl. Fuck that owl. Are you kidding me? I've never seen an owl in my life, let alone the elusive spotted one. Shoot that fucking thing, make it extinct, and clear that damn brush. Now let me get the hell up out of here. You know how it goes. Fucking Gavin Newsom, you piece of shit. I try to be done with the left, but they just won't let me. Please, subscribe. Hit that notification bell, because every time it rings, a piece of shit liberal cries. Get your Jericho Green notification tone link in the description box. Utilize the PayPal link and the Teespring link to get your green gear. I am Jericho Green. Man, I'm out.